Schmucks. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. <laughs> and now you know what humility feels like. All right, so what's in this room? Ah, Sam Node. All right, so yeah, I think we're pretty much done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Hello, Scott. Welcome back to Sam Node. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. A, a solid 40 minutes of just yeah. nonsense there. That's silly. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best to speak alone. Sam, if we're going to work together, you can't keep hiding things from me. Apologies. I am simply following your father's wishes. What was he keeping secret? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Secrecy breeds paranoia. It could scare people. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Okay. Well, just so long as it doesn't hurt. The only pain is that which life provides. As I've discovered, this can be a lesson in itself. It's one I'd rather avoid. So, where do we go from here? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. And Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Oh, what? What have I done? Profiles allow Sam to reconfigure writer's implant for superior battlefield performance. Select a profile and press A to activate it. I want to say in uh, the original stuff I chose Adept. I'm pretty sure. Adept, rather. 5% uh, removal damage, 5% damage resistance. Infiltrator. Three skill points each invested in combat and tech. Three skill points each in combat and biotics. And soldiers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Adept again. Actually, uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. So what was the Explorer? It's kind of the overall one. Explorer is a Jack of all trades. Yeah, let's go with that. What, what? Oh. It's making me slip soldier. I don't have Explorer unlocked. It's not letting me do anything. Invest in combat tech or biotic skills to unlock more powerful profiles in a variety of styles. Oh, okay. So I have to, I have to do that myself. Okay, I, I understand it now. Okay, things are changing. So it's, it's not that it, it puts the skill points in there. I have to put two skill points each in combat tech and biotics to unlock the explorer profile. Okay. Now, this is all different now. These people have apparently leveled up. Auto level up? Yes. I, I can barely manage my own shit, let alone uh, someone else's. So these guys can just do their own thing. Uh, let's see. 
So far, I've only put stuff in combat. I don't think I have any more right now, so let's just... Next time we do anything, I'll put some stuff in bio, biotics and tech. Okay, so... Oh, I have a thing. Alright, um, I want to look at Welcome this back, again. Scott. Sam's location, my implant, my sister's condition. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. She's not going to come back for a while at this point. I'm going to go through all this. I based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec told me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. <laughs> All right. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, simulated, adaptive matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. Hmm. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. Symbiotic relationship. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. All right. That's all for it now. appears to be everything. I'm going to go see the ship, and then we'll probably end this recording. Speak to Kandros on the Nexus or via the... Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, let's see. Is this something I need to mark? So go Sam on the Hyperion. Go to your ship. Uh, let's go back and do this first, then. Because I don't know where the ship is, so we're going to have to talk to him... One way or the other, I think. Because if we want to do the mission, we need to get it before we go anywhere. Which, we're probably not going to go anywhere today. Just saying. Alright, docking bay. Oh, wait, what? Did I do that by accident? Wait, did you see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Oh, the Tempest. Okay, so that's the ship. Nice. I like it. I like it. Take a closer look. Yeah, let's be honest, it's never gonna live let's up to the Let's pick Normandy, it up a bit, people. We're like 14 it. months late. It's 
So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. That introduction. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? She's gonna be a party yes. member. Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting the ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. I didn't do it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? She's gonna intimidate the shit out of him. Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings. Get him to the front of the line. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. Right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Hmm. Finally, right, someone so. who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Ooh, initiated. So far, gain access to the Tempest. I did that completely by accident, game. You're rewarding me for, you know, being a fucking moron, essentially. I had to do it eventually, but I didn't mean to. I guess, yeah, it, 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 it led me there because I can do it from the ship. That's why. Uh, so I didn't do it by accident necessarily. I did follow the uh, waypoint exactly. It led me where it was supposed to lead me. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, set, exploration gear. That lag, Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well. Also, Scott. this cutscene is gorgeous. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil, Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection <laughs> to Tempest. I'm so excited to Welcome play this aboard, game. Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Suvi. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. This will be an adventure. It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. We're gonna we're gonna take a nice little sneak peek at how this works, because it was awesome in the previous games, and it can only be better. I'm assuming. Is this the bridge? Is this it? Better head to the go. bridge when we're ready. Uh, let's let's just go. go ahead and do this. Hello again, Ryder. Taking an interest in my strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. Trusting them? I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck. Kandros out. Nice. Alright, so inspect available strike team missions. I'm gonna head to the bridge first and we'll do that tomorrow. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. This is a much bigger thing. This is incredible. What's this? Some serious kit over here. Seems like we're forever racing. But there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. 
Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones. Like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down and give you options. Explorers turn scavengers. Good, we'll rely on ourselves. I'll take any advantage I can get, even if it's exploring junk. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after work to me. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. All right, more tutorial. Um, select research to unlock new blueprints and augments by spending research data. Select development to craft equipment and nomad upgrades using blueprints you've researched and materials you've gathered. Research. Weapons. Ooh. Each research category has different research data. Milky Way, Helos, and Remnant. Okay. Select a blueprint or augmentation to hit and hit A to research it. Hello. I don't know what any of these are. <laughs> Milky Way research data. Why do I have 10? I haven't been to the Milky Way. Oh my god, this list goes further down. I didn't realize that first. All right, so let's, uh, let's see. Cyclone assault rifle. Cyclone's rapid rate of fire requires a short warm up before you use the rifle. Charger SMG, I already have, wait, no. Wait, yeah, I thought I did. All right, let's see, sandstorm assault rifle. Ooh, holy crap. Okay. Um. Yeah, about that. <laughs> I don't have enough for anything. Let's see, the first one is a hundred. So yeah, let's uh. Development. <laughs> see what we can do over here, if anything. No clue what any of this does. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, press X to learn more about the materials required to craft each blueprint. Visit the research screen to unlock new blueprints. All right, Omni Gel, blah blah blah, all that stuff. All right back. Don't I already have this? Avenger Assault Rifle One. Start development. Are you sure you want to develop the M8 Avenger 1 project? It will be added to your inventory and available to equip via loadout terminals. I can rename it. It's kind of cool. Um, continue. Development successful. Develop successfully and added to your inventory. Oh, it's just it's instantaneous? Okay. Didn't realize that. We have armor as well. I don't have anything left, so I'm just going to leave that around. All right, this way. Oh, that. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a little moving platform. Let's go to the bridge. I want to see how this thing flies. It's going to be beautiful. Oh wow. It's not like the uh, Normandy was. It's completely different. Departure trajectory locked. Nexus control. Ah, time for introduction. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'll keep us out of trouble. I'm still learning the ropes. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? Failure isn't an option. I guess we have to be. All right. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. I didn't Guild catch that accent before. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Confidence. Things seem bad, but we've already beaten the odds, and we'll beat them again. You know it, I know it. So let's show them what we got. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Alright. Maybe you should close that? I was gonna say. Let's see what this uh, galactic map looks like and uh, call this. I can only play for so long. Departure vector verified, Tempest. I think it explodes. Speed, Pathfinder. So is that a planet? Like, because it's, it's got that weird blue glow. Oh. To Eos, then. Oh, wow. What would have been our habitat one? Two failed outposts. It's an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Oh, wow. Callow, take us in. That's the entire thing. Um... So hold on a minute. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. It's not like the other ones were. You are here for straight. Yeah. What's this? There's all sorts of stuff. Where's EOS? H599? There's so much. And this is where the scale of this game really starts to sink in. I have all of these things. What what what's happening? Oh, I'm I'm leaving. Bye. Oh. Okay. This is about as far as the Nexus surveyors could get before well let's see what's waiting here. Well then. Like, look at all these places to go and Black hole? I'm sorry, what? That wasn't in the originals. I don't remember there being black holes. They're all individual planets. Oh, uh, this is overwhelming, to say the very least. Alright, so we're, we're gonna do something tomorrow. And you look at this, there's so many. I have an entire galaxy at our fingertips right now. All of those, I assume, are places I can go. Because... In the other games, you basically have the Milky Way. This is just Andromeda, so... It's a new place. Also, can I zoom out any further? No. All right, so, yeah. Let's, uh... Oh, look at that. I'm gonna go just... Uh. Anyway, I'm gonna end this recording session now. How? I can't speak. I'm so excited. I'm going to end this recording session now. Uh, we will continue with this tomorrow. Uh, these videos are going to go up as soon as they are done and ready to. And I will see you guys in the next set. Uh, again, if you're enjoying the series, please let me know. Uh, I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Ta-ta.